up obsessors welcome back again to my channel so today i have another um review for you guys it is going to be on a brush set and um if you see i have on the same shirt and makeup look um this video was recorded the same day as the other two videos but um i'm talking about the sonia kashik limited edition holiday brush set and this is the packaging right here i did take the brushes out and I'm going to just keep this here so I can read off the brush names to you guys. So the first brush is this one. And this is a large powder brush. Now, I haven't used all these brushes yet. Um, I've kind of played around with a couple of them. And I have two really good brushes I'm going to talk to you guys about at the end. But um, this is a large powder brush. And um, the fibers feel so, so good on the skin like it is a really really nice brush the detailing on these brushes is insane it is insane like i really really love these brushes it comes in um It's a 10 brush set. I don't know why it took me that long to just figure it out. But it's a 10 brush set. And they also have another one that is a 4 brush set. So if you don't want to get all these brushes, you can get the 4 brush set. And I think the powder brush does come with the 4 brush set. And they also came out with like a little container to put the brushes in. And it's like this kind of color, but it's like stars. I didn't get that, um, but I think I'm probably going to go back and get it because... It looks really, really perfect with the brush itself. So, yes, this is the large powder brush. The next brush I have is um, one synthetic. This is a multi-purpose um, buffing brush. And um, this brush right here, I really think this would be good for um, buffing in foundation. Or maybe even like a cream contour. That's what I'm going to try to use this brush for. Um, it feels really good against the skin and on my and um it feels just like the big powder brush but it's more dense and um it's not shedding these aren't shedding the pink sonia kashik brushes that i do have they do shed from time to time when i use them but i just think it's because i wash them a lot just because i don't want any bacteria but um i probably won't be washing these as much just because i want them to really kind of stay in good condition but um yeah well that's one hair right there so they shed a little bit but I've only had one little shit since we started. So the next brush is a small powder brush. Small powder brush. That is this one right here, I believe. And um I don't I probably shouldn't have took these out of the set. I'm pretty sure this is the multi-purpose buffing, and this might be the small powder brush but I still think this is good for foundation um I wouldn't use this for foundation just because um it's not dense enough for me and I just feel like foundation would completely get stuck and just ruin this brush um I would probably use this just for like powder blush stuff like that <clears throat> nothing too fancy and then um right here is an angled brush of course y'all know this is going to be the perfect contour and bronzing brush right here next um, I'm gonna show you guys the eye brushes so we have this one right here and this one has kind of like a triangle shape to it and it's um I'm pretty sure this is a concealer brush um, it's called a a pointed blending brush but um yes this is definitely good for like you know concealers that are thicker and that you want to really get in the eye i think they'll be good for this and then it has like this little small flat top brush and of course i will use this for just going on the lower lash line or in my inner corner and then it's like this little it's like an angle brush is but it's pretty wide and it's not it's, it's kind of dense but um i'm not sure what you will use that for maybe a nose contour you can use it to contour your nose but this brush right here as you see this brush is dirty I used this brush um, when I did my makeup and this is a small pencil precision brush this is good for the lower lash line um, inner corner um, but what I used this for today was my highlighter I put it 
I dipped my brush in the highlighter and I just went right down the center of my nose with it. Woo! Highlight on flick! And I also went over my cupid's bow. Yes! <laughs> This brush is the bomb, y'all. This is like, this is one out of the two favorites in this collection. This brush is bomb.com. And then um, they have another blending brush in there. I was really, really excited when I saw this brush because um, my favorite blending brush is already by Sonia Kashik. It's the pink one that I use in every single tutorial. Um, I was glad to get another one. This one isn't as fluffy. It's a little more skinny, so I'm really ready to just, like, dig into this brush. But the next brush I wanted to talk to y'all about, this is the last brush in the collection. As you can see, this is dirty because I used it, and it is the bomb.com. Let me try to see if I can find the name. I'm going to say that this is flat top. Eyeliner brush? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one this is called, but this brush right here is the highlighting brush. So, I already was playing around with it, and I highlighted this cheekbone right here. I went in even more. And this is Max um, Old Darling Limited Edition um, Skin Finish. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this brush and show you guys how it highlights. And I'm going to do my other cheek. Can we just so I look like a disco ball, but yes, this is the bomb.com. I really think y'all should pick up this brush set. It is life. Like Sonia Cashic brushes are so good and they're affordable and they last a very, very long time. Like I said, I wash my brushes and everything. Like I love Love, love, love these brushes. If you guys want to see me do a demo with um, some more of these brushes and putting them to the test, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next one.